Back here at AT&T Park, it's a really special night. The 16th annual LGBT night. It is sponsored by pg and &E. I have two special guests. Right next to me, Doug Litwin, president. And next to him, Mike Wong, creative director of the San Francisco Lesbian and Gay Freedom Band, which is awesome. And let's start with you, Doug. The Giants, 16 years they've been doing this. What does that mean to the LGBT community to have that kind of support from the Giants? Well, if you look around, you'll see so many people. It means a lot. It means a tremendous amount. And even before they started doing LGBT night, they did the Until There's a Cure games, which go back to 1994 at Candlestick Park. It's so important. And we come here every year. Uh, and since 2009, I've been the community liaison for this game. And now we're celebrating our 40th anniversary this year while the Giants are celebrating 60. Well, Doug and Mike are great community partners with the Giants, and Mike, so is PG&E. In fact, they were the first major company in California to support No On 8 and the first major company to sponsor the Pride Parade back in 1986. They are definitely with this cause, and they're in this community, and they love diversity. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means so much to have that support. I mean, when the band first started in 1978, 40 years ago, to think something like PG&E would be able to support uh, the gay rights and pride and everything um, just so early on in the career. I mean, now everyone's sponsoring pride and everything. And so, you know, it's just great to have the support. And now this year we're grand marshals for the parade. And I think that having the support of people that are mainstream like pg and &E, to really bring um, to light all of the causes of LGBT, especially with the trans, that is uh, with bathrooms, not being able to use their own bathrooms and being often, you know, uh, invisible sometimes to uh, the plight of everyone else. So we gotta keep pushing strong, but with support from the Giants and from pg and &E and everything like that, I think it just means so much to the movement. Yeah, and it means a lot to see progress. And uh, Doug and Mike wanted to point out, Dwayne and Mike, that the Giants are winning and it's because they're here. Doug and Mike, thanks oh, for joining us, gentlemen. All right. All right. Yeah. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out why the Giants were winning. Now I know. Well, there you go. Well, and if uh, the Giants do indeed win, they'll have to come back tomorrow. That's right. All right. Good job, fellas. Two and two to Will Myers, who was kind enough to take some pitches. While well, Amy G was being so very kind downstairs in a swift. We ain't going to miss strikeout number six. Six strikeouts, one intentional walk for Bumgarner. Who, by the way, I'm sure may have said something to A.J. Ellis. As Ellis walked down the line, something like, that wasn't my idea. Which she said to Paul Goldsmith about three years ago. 